Hi guys, today I'm out and about and the subject is all about the subject. So a common mistake that happens with a lot of photographers is not having a really clear idea of what you want your viewers to focus on. So what happens is sometimes people look at your photo and they have no idea what they're supposed to be looking at. Has that ever happened to you? I know it's happened to me in the past where people are looking at my photo and going, um, what am I supposed to be looking at? That's not a problem you want to have. This is why in photography there are all sorts of techniques and principles that photographers follow. They're all designed to help to lead the viewer's gaze to the main subject or the important parts of the photo. So it's very easy to lose your focus because sometimes what will happen is maybe you've taken a photo of a landscape but there's nothing that really pulls the eye in. It just looks bland. Everything looks equal in your shot. It could be in an urban setting and it's just buildings and people and there's nothing that looks like it stands out. Everything's competing for the viewer's attention. That's a really weak photo because people don't know where to rest their eye. So their eye just wafts all over the place. Another scenario that can happen is perhaps you've decided to take a photo of a group of friends, but there's something more interesting than your friends in the photo. Say for example, there's a, a weird clown standing just behind them with bright clothes and a funny look on his face. That will distract from your shot. And that means that you haven't led your viewer to the thing you want them to see. Sure, they'll see your friends, but they'll be more interested in the crazy clown standing beside or behind them. So these are the kinds of things that you need to think about when you think about your subject. So I'm here in the woodlands, which I love, and I found this brilliant little leading line. This little pathway, I love leading lines. We all know leading lines make a good photo. On top of which, I've discovered a lovely shrouded look, a bit of framing going on with the trees and the shrubbery over here. I could take that photo and it would be lovely, and most photographers might stop there, but what would happen if we had an accent, something that would really take the photo to the next level, a focus, a subject? Like, for example, what if someone just suddenly popped out? I would say that's a much better shot. So to summarize, all you really need is a strong subject. And the way to get a strong subject is to make sure that something pops out in your photo. Don't let everything else just feel like it's competing with the main thing. Have something bright, colorful, something big, something stunning as your main subject. And the second part of that is if you do have a lovely subject, make sure there's nothing competing for attention with it. Make sure that there's not something more interesting in the sides of the frame or behind the subject. Just make sure that your subject gets all the airtime and that there are no distractions around it. Ah. Well, I hope you found that useful. If you did, subscribe for more of this kind of content. Until next time, salute.